Okay, we're going to construct an angle bisector. So basically, it's a thing that bisects an angle. So bisect. What does bi mean? Two. Bi means divide. What does sect mean? I'm oh, sorry. Bi means two. Sect means divide. So what are we doing when we bisect something? Dividing. Cutting it in half. We're dividing by two. So what I would like you to do is to construct an angle. Do not try to imitate mine. It's better if you do your own, because if you do your own, then you have to think. And thinking is useful. So, just make an angle. Doesn't much matter what direction it faces or how much it, uh, degrees it measures. Just make an angle. That's all you've got to do. Need a straight edge. Don't fall behind. Don't fall behind. You knew we were doing constructions. Why are you getting your tools out now? You knew we were doing constructions. Okay. Um, step one. Tip on vertex. Take a look. That's all you do. Step one. Tip on vertex. Step one. Tip on vertex. Step two. Arc across angle. Here we go. Step two, arc across angle. Step two, arc across angle. Step three, tip on intersection. What that means is you put the tip, the sharp tip, on that intersection that you created right there. That's step three. Step four. Step four, arc through angle. Step five, tip on other intersection. Tip on other intersection. Step six, arc intersecting arc four. Two arcs cross right there. Step six intersects arc four. And the last thing we've got to do is to construct, what do you guys think? Is it going to be a segment, a ray, or a line? Ray. Ray, good. We're going to construct the ray from the vertex through the intersection. So that's the last step. Step seven. This ray is your angle bisector. It cuts the angle exactly in half. So whatever the measure of this angle, this angle will be exactly half of that. This angle will be exactly half of that. And this angle will have exactly the same measure as this angle. And that's it for the angle bisector. Thank you.